Hello again, and welcome to another hashtag now smoking cigar review. I'm Gary Korb, executive editor from cigaradvisor.com. And today I'm featuring a new offering from CAO Cigars, the Flathead series. This is the V19 camshaft. It's a five and a half by 50 Robusto. We'll get more into all the details in a minute, but I just want to uh, take a look at this cigar. It's got a beautiful broadleaf wrapper. It's box pressed. It looks like a candy bar, really. I hope it tastes like one, too. It's got the um, traditional flat head on it. It looks like it's really uh, been very well rolled. It's firm. It smells kind of chocolatey, actually. It's got a nice aroma there, and um, see on the foot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to this. Um, let's get the cutter out and cut off that nice flat cap. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect square. <laughs> okay. So, get some of this off here, and we'll light it up. Mmm. Nice pre-draw. I am getting some sweetness. I am getting some, uh, like a, like a, um, a candy-like flavor, like sugary. Okay, yeah, that tastes good. All right, so I'm going to be real careful this week when I light the cigar, because we're outside again here. Um, last week I scorched uh, the cigar, and that was not good. That was not good. <laughs> All right, so you get the flame going, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to bring the cigar to the lighter until I see some tobacco burning. And there we go. Yeah. All right. See? No scorching. The cigar has a little bit of earthiness to it. There is some sweetness uh, under that. It's a little peppery, so it might be front loaded a little bit. It's really nicely pressed too. It's not, it's not really sharp box press. It's kind of like rounded shoulders on it. And I like the band too. It's kind of neat. Um, the gold and the black. And uh, we're going to get into all the details on the cigar when we get to the next segment. But let's just see how it's going right now for a little bit longer. Yeah, smoke is really nice and creamy. It's very smooth. It's still very earthy and peppery. So let's get down to the first inch and we'll continue from there. All right, so here we go. We got down to about, oh, just under an inch and this cigar has been smoking really beautifully. It's, it's rounded out a little bit. I'm still getting some pepperiness, but I'm getting some sweetness too. It's very creamy. The smoke as it's coming in, you know, around my face and stuff, it's a little, uh, little peppery up, getting up in my nose there. But it's really beautifully done. The CAO Flathead V19 series comes in a beautiful box too. It's really nice. It has a uh, the V on the top. You know, it's got the nice uh, chrome piece there. You know, it's just really, really nice presentation. And this cigar is, um, I'd say right now, it's kind of like a medium plus. The ash is really nice. It looks really firm. It's it's uh, very light gray, almost white. And I like the little spots it has in it and stuff. It's kind of like forming a nickel stack, as they call it, or dime stack getting good flow. Um, just everything's really going good so far. Let's learn a little bit about the cigar. It's made by Rick Rodriguez, who created the Flathead series originally. It's a very successful series for CAO. It's also one of my favorites uh, at a CAO. And he created this with the CAO team. And they upped the ante by blending a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. There it is. Really nice, really dark, really very chocolatey looking. A hearty Connecticut Habano binder right and a bold selection of independently grown Nicaraguan Esteli Jalapa and Candega leaves with Dominican Pilato Cubano so what they did was they used an all Nicaraguan filler blend and added some Dominican Pilato Cubano which is a little bit sweet and just to I guess balance it out so it's got some really nice blend in there then they gave each of the leaves an abbreviated fermentation to lock in the tobacco's native flavors. So in other words, they didn't 
ferment it as long as they normally do. But but they what they did do is they aged the tobaccos for a longer time. So which gets out a lot of the bitterness and brings out some of the sweetness. And it says here that the CAO Flathead V19 delivers a distinctive molasses and leather flavors of the CAO Flathead, but with more depth and complexity. Well, it's definitely got more depth to it. Um, I haven't hit any of that molasses, although I am getting a nice sweetness out of it. And it's really, really smooth. It's really nice, but it's got that nice uh, kick to it. It's got, it's got a lot of pepper in the mix, too. So what does Rick say about the cigar? He says, well, for V19, we wanted deep flavor and power, the kind of cigar that demands your attention, just like a classic car or motorcycle does. This is the cigar for the CAO smoker who likes the boldest blend in our line. So uh, once again, here we are in the morning, <laughs> and we're smoking a strong cigar. But it's, um, it's, it's not overpowering. It is, it is a little strong for, for the morning if you're the kind that doesn't smoke this kind of a cigar in the morning, which, which I normally don't, but it's, it's actually really good. I like it. And finally, it comes in two box press sizes. This is one, this is the V19 camshaft. It's a five and a half by 50. It's, it's practically a Toro, which I like. It's um, usually my favorite size. And then it has uh, something called the carb, which is the other size. That's a six by 60. And I have not smoked that one yet. I do have one in my humidor, but I wanted to try this one first. I don't normally smoke six by sixties, but um, this is really tasty so far. And let's see how we're doing here. Now there's a lot of volume in that smoke. Look at that. It's really coming off nice. And the ash is holding up pretty well. It really has that earthy Nicaraguan, you know, flavor to it. You can tell, you know, they probably just put in that little Dominican Pelado Cubano to give it a little, you know, ease it off a little bit, but um, this is a uh, hearty smoke, very hearty smoke. Let's, let's test the ash, let's see. Oh, there it goes, well, <laughs> but it is a nice ash. I probably could have gone a little longer with that, but probably hit it on one of the, one of the uh, cracks or something where, it, and, Woo wee, it's that pepper through the nose, baby. So anyway, it's a really bold cigar so far. If you like a bold cigar, and this really is the definition of bold for me so far, Rick uh, really hit the nail on the head with this one. So um, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of cigar, man, a lot of cigar. Well, I'm definitely getting some nice sweetness, especially off the cap here. And you can you can you can sense it in the smoke too. It's 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 kind of hard to describe. You really have to smoke. Some cigars you just have to smoke to understand them, you know. And I think this may be one of them. It's um, it's like I said, it's very bold. It's very earthy. It's peppery, and then it's got that kind of layer of sweetness that just kind of rides, you know, right down the center. Yeah. All right, well, let's put it down and see how we do with Act Two. Ooh, yeah, a lot of nice smoke coming out of that. You know, um, the cigar has been very consistent so far. It is, as I said, it's been very earthy. I haven't gotten uh, much of a leather note, although I, I think it is in there. I'll tell you what is leathery, though, the, uh, the wrapper is very leathery, like it came off of a uh, motorcycle seat or something. <laughs> but, uh, but seriously, you know, I also noticed that on the band, you can't see it here, but it's engraved, I guess, with a uh, piston on a camshaft. I think that's pretty cool, you know. So I, I always like the little fine details you find on the cigar bands. There's, there's the wings there, and the flathead uh, logo. It's just really nice. Uh, that ash is really, really good. Let's see if it taps off easy. Yep, there it goes. So it's a little flaky as I pound it here. Uh, breaks up really easily, but it seems to hold on pretty nicely, so that's good. Um, as to the molasses flavor, yeah, there's some sweetness. Uh, molasses isn't necessarily that sugary sweet. It has a, a certain uh, character to it. 
But I'll tell you, this is really one bold Nicaraguan cigar. And if you like Nicaraguan cigars and Nicaraguan blends, yeah, this, this could be the ticket. Really, really delicious, really bold. I'm trying to think of what this would pair well with, you know? Um, it's, it's just about everything goes good with coffee, but this would probably be a good scotch, you know, good scotch and soda, you know, or something like that, you know, real good hearty um, bourbon maybe even, I think maybe even bourbon. And if you want a little more sweetness in your mix there, maybe a sweeter bourbon or something like that, you know, but uh, I could see doing this with the Macallan, something like that, it's really good. Now, I'm not really taking as much time between puffs as I, I normally would, but I'll tell you a little bit about Rick. Rick has uh, been with CAO for a while now, and, and he's really done some great things for the company. The flathead is probably what he's best known for, but uh, he's also done some uh, other great stuff with them. And uh, I just uh, always like CAO cigars. They always had very good quality, very good tobaccos, and uh, I'm glad that they've been able to keep that consistent uh, over the years. I just like admiring it for some reason. I don't know why, but let me see. Here we go. And that retro hail still mighty peppery. But um, I guess I'm at a loss for words in some ways for this because it's very consistent. I don't want to keep repeating myself. And I'm just really trying to enjoy it as much as I can, you know. We're out here, it's, a, it's kind of a cloudy day. I think it rained earlier today, so it's very humid too, but it's, uh, it's nice. We don't have much of a breeze today as we normally do. And it's burning really, really evenly too, I think. I haven't had any burn issues at all. And the wrapper is, like I said, it has a beautiful leathery feel to it and a nice oily patina and you know, the oils and the tobaccos are what really give the tobaccos their flavor. And when you age and ferment cigars, you really want to preserve those, those oils as best you can. So I think they uh, really did a nice job there with the fermenting and the aging. And you have your um, broadleaf wrapper over a Connecticut Habano binder. Connecticut Habano is a different kind of leaf. It's a, I believe it's a smaller leaf. It's very dark. It's used and some of the uh, Maduro cigars that General Cigar puts out, I think it's on the Partagas Black. And it's a very hearty tobacco. So that's what's really giving a lot of this V19 its power. A lot of people don't give the binder enough credit, but if you use the right binder, it can make the cigar amazing. So that's pretty much it for Act Two. Let's see what happens in Act Three. All right, we're in Act 3 now, and this cigar has been amazingly consistent, still very bold, very earthy, peppery, but also sweet. Now when I say sweet, I don't mean like a sugary sweet, it's kind of like a, like I said, like they, they describe it as molasses, it's more like a dark chocolate to me, like a high cacao uh, mix of uh, chocolate, maybe 80 or 90 percent, so it's not real sweet but there is a sweetness in there. And the ash is really nice too. I've been able to uh, form it into a really nice uh, little cone here. And uh, look at that, it's really nice. Yeah, this is one rich, bold smoke for a manly man, let me tell you right now. <laughs> So if you don't normally smoke this kind of a cigar in the morning, then I would say hold off to the afternoon or after dinner with this. It's Like I said, it's uh, not your typical morning cigar, but if you're one of these guys who uh, likes to have a good strong cigar to get your day started, um, I don't know, you can't do much better than this, I guess. It's really, really hearty. And I know that's what they were going for, so I guess it's a success, right? but there is a lot of uh, resident pepper in the cigar. And uh, not feeling too heady or anything. 
So that's good. Let's, uh, let's take the band off right now. Let's do that. Oh, it came right off. Got plenty of heat there. And I really like that little band. It's really nice. Ah, that tastes good. It really does go good with the coffee, though, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. This big, bold flavor. This is a manly cigar, let me tell you. Every motorcyclist in America should smoke this cigar, that's what I say. So, the third act has been very, like I said, it's been very consistent, very bold, very smooth, very creamy, and I like that. And I tell you, Rick really uh, put his heart into this one, I can tell you that. In fact, it's interesting because even though it would normally get stronger at this point, it really hasn't gotten much stronger, but I am getting even a little more sweetness off it. So that's, that's a very interesting change up right there. It's perfectly balanced. Really, really nice balance on the cigar. It's just a lot going on in here. Probably more than I'm even picking up under these conditions, you know, but... Uh, I definitely would like to try this again. I'd definitely like to try the 6x60, the uh, carb. See if that has any uh, different character to it. Let's see if we can get it down to the nub and then we'll sign off from there. Well, we made it down to the nub. I got about, oh gee, just under two inches left. The cigar is still very bold. Still got some sweetness in it. It's a little bit bitter now, but you know, we're down to the end here and this is really juicy. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on here. It's a really nice, bold cigar. I highly recommend it. I think Rick and his team down there at CAO did a wonderful job on this. If you love Broadleaf Connecticut wrapper, this is for you. Let me tell you that right now. And I would really like to try the cigar again um, while I'm probably relaxing somewhere out, you know, on the uh, porch or by the pool, somewhere where I can really just sit and enjoy it. Uh, I've enjoyed it a lot here today, but I think sometimes when you just can sit back with a cigar and say, ah, oh, yeah, you know, and just kind of appreciate it for what it is. This, this is really, really nice, this uh, CAO Flathead V19. And I'll take one more puff and we'll call it quits. So really great job again by Rick Rodriguez and the CAO team down there. And this again is the CAO Flathead V19. This is the new series. It's only two cigars with a beautiful broadleaf wrapper, box pressed. This is the camshaft, the five and a half by 50. They also make the carb, which is a six by 60. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Hashtag Now Smoking. Happy smokes.